Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio, and this is my Art Snacks box for September. There were actually two boxes, so there's the first set and the second set. I'm putting it all in one video um, on YouTube, so... Um, yeah, so the other one is at the end of this one. So this first item in here is a Stabilo Point Max pen set. Um, it's got some fun tropical colors, and I just decided to pull out my sketchbook and test them out. Um, the pen tip is um, it says a 0.8 millimeter line width and um, it's a lot of fun. It'll be fun to add to my art journals and stuff. So I just thought I'd try to do some doodly flowers and then I was reading um, about this and read that they are water-based ink, which means they are probably water-reactive. So once we get this drawn on here, we're going to um, add my water brush to it and see what happens. Uh, the retail on this Tabillo pen set is $5.95, and it says on the little card that you can leave the cap off for 24 hours without the ink drying out. I wouldn't test that, but um, that would be nice, because... I always feel like my pens and stuff dry out way too fast. I decided I might need a little bit more color in there if I'm going to add water to them, so I'll just, I'm just mixing it up a bit. Gotta give them some stems and leaves, right? Gotta use all the colors in the package. <laughs> You know, while I'm watching myself draw, I'm just reading the little Art Snacks card, and are there jokes on every single one of these cards? Because I've never noticed it before. I go straight for the uh, product, and um, this one is, what do barn animals paint with? <laughs> um, the answer's pigment, by the way. <laughs> Alright, so we got that one done. It's a fun new color for the pencil pretzel, which is good. It's always fun to open this up and see what's inside. So that one is the Moo Professional Artist Eraser. It is a really soft eraser. Um, somebody introduced me to that eraser a while ago, and I love it for watercolors because it doesn't do any damage to the watercolor paper. It's really gentle. So this one that I'm holding up now is the Plumchester P4 Fine Liner. It says it's $2.99 retail for this fine liner. So we're just going to draw some doodles on here. Um, I don't think I tested it for water fastness, but... Um, They say they recommend a clean, smooth surface to preserve the nib life on the pen. So probably not on top of your mixed media if you want to keep it living for very long. <laughs> and it's 4 mil millimeter in diameter, it says. And this one also says it's a new product and an Art Snacks exclusive. So that's cool.
I am putting marks in there. We'll have to watch those when I add the water to see if they react. I think I add water right over the top of those. Okay, well that's a nice pen. Love to have new pens. Okay, this one is the Alvin Draft Matic Mechanical Pencil. Now this mechanical pencil, it says it retails at $14.50. Wow. Um, I've gotten a few mechanical pencils from Art Snacks, and they are just really nice pencils. And this one feels good too. I'm not sure what lead is in it. Um, but on the cap, and you can't see it, um, there is a little dial, and the dial will, you can change it for the type of lead you have, like HB, B, um, the different hardnesses, which is really cool on that pencil. So there is all of that. I put that there, and then I realize, ooh, this is wa probably water reactive. So this is where I take the water brush and make these flowers look a little bit better, because... You know, everything's better when it's painted. <laughs> At least in my world. And I like water. I'm impatient for water. There, I just go lightly over the um, leaves. Doesn't look like it's smudging the ink. It's a little spot that might be a smudge, but it looks pretty good. Like you could paint over it if you wanted to. Oh, there's a right test. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Okay, so there's all the fun products for September. And a picture. <laughs> all right, so the next box is the Liquitex box. So, um, Art Snacks sent us an extra box. This is actually from Liquitex, and I'm told that it is new stuff from Liquitex, and they wanted to send it to all the Art Snacks um, subscribers. So we're gonna open this thing up. Probably not the best thing to open that with. I don't know where my knife is. And see what they have sent. Oh. Interesting grooves. It's like a weird shape. Okay. Stuff, stuff, and stuff. Okay. Heavy body titanium white. Hmm. Oh, I got my peppermint. Okay. And red, medium red. Yellow medium. I got two red mediums. Oh, A and B. Okay, what does A and B mean? I think I might have to learn this. A and B. What does that mean? Okay. So. Cadmium free maybe? This says I took the cadmium free challenge. What is the cadmium free challenge? Okay, let's 
against us. Okay, tag them. This product contains cadmium in both A and B tubes. Don't let this fool you. Regular cadmium paint tubes require this warning sentence. We assure you that one of these tubes is definitely cad free. Oh, so we're going to test which one has cadmium and which one doesn't? Is that the challenge? Well, um, I don't think any of my other paints actually have cadmium in it. Real cadmium. So basically, it wants us to test them to see how opaque they are and if we think they're as bright as cadmium. So let's do let's test this out. It's shaped weird, I don't know. Okay. Careful because it has cadmium, yeah? Alright. Let's find us a piece of paper. So we got some watercolor. I'm gonna use the smooth side because this isn't watercolor. Okay. So we're gonna play with A first, B second. And so I'm just getting a little bit of the paint out. And put it on my craft mat. I decided I needed to divide my paper in half and designate A and B, or I might forget which was which. And that marker was about dead. And to check for transparency or coverage, you have to have a black line for it to go over. And it does cut out here a little bit. I'm really sorry guys, but you're not missing much. I just scraped the color on over the black line to see um, how opaque it was. And that spot that's really opaque was um, more paint. And then I did do a little bit with the paintbrush to see because um, I have a little bit better control that way. And so here I'm just messing with it, making, I don't know, some random flower shape. Just to mix it and layer it to see how well it layers without um, you seeing the other layers. And how it mixes. And this paint is really smooth. It's like really buttery. And I always end up with paint all the way up to the ferrule. It, yeah, never fails. Now I'm just using the paint up. And I just scraped the rest of the paint on there and cleaned off my spot. And now we're going to do the same thing with the B tubes of paint. And see what we think about those. not very good with a palette knife, so I'm just better off.
painting it on there with a paintbrush so I can get an even pressure. I tried to make sure my brush was really dry after washing the yellow off so that it was an even consistency. But they seem pretty even in the uh, transparency part of it. You can see that there is a slight color shift between the two of them. So I'm just repeating the process of creating the weird little flower <laughs> and using up the paint. trying to get the same color as I had on the other side. See if I could replicate the same mixture. That's kind of close, maybe. I didn't put quite as much paint out the second time. I'm gonna scrape it on. This is the part you didn't see on the last one. I just took all those bits of paint and just scraped it on to my piece of paper. And there we go. So here's A. And here's B. And then right here I painted them right next to each other on the line. So you can see there's a little bit of a color variation. So which one do you think is the cadmium and which one is the cadmium free? I'm going to guess that B is the cadmium and that A is the cadmium free. But it's stri just strictly a plain old guess. And I th think they both work wonderfully.